Hey what's up everyone? In this new lesson, I am gonna walk you through the steps of installing this operating system that is called PopOS. Basically, it's free and open source Linux distribution. Unlike Windows, that is paid. In this video, we're gonna download the ISO file. Then we'll create the bootable USB drive so that we can install this operating system. So before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel, that helps me a lot and ring that notifications bell so that you get notified when I release a new video and let's jump right into it so here I have an Ubuntu machine but it doesn't matter we are going to download a tool that is called USB Imager it works for Windows, Mac OS or Linux you only need a browser like Google Chrome. Let's open it up. First, I'm gonna download PopOS ISO file from the official link, which is pop.system76.com. And here's the official website. Let's go down here and download it using this download button. We have this window that pops up, which allows you to download different versions. Basically, we have PopOS for Raspberry Pi, which is actually a tiny computer. But that's not the purpose of this video. We need to download the PC version. This one works for systems with NVIDIA GPUs. If you have an NVIDIA card, make sure to select this option. Or you could go to this one. And these are the latest version, 2022.04. Here you see the recommended requirements. You need at least 4 GB of RAM and 16 gigabytes of uh, storage and the file size is about 3 gigabytes for me I'm gonna use the NVIDIA version because I have an NVIDIA GPU and as you can see it is downloading as an ISO file and while it's downloading let's go ahead and install the tool basically it's a tool that allows you to burn this ISO file and create a bootable USB drive let's search for the name under this tab which is USB Imager, download. Let's select the first link. It's a GitLab link. And it is this repository. Let's go down below. We can download it for Windows, Mac OS, or Ubuntu. For me, I'm using Ubuntu, which is a Linux operating system. I'm gonna select the first link, but if you have Windows, make sure to select this one. So let's go ahead and download it. And as you can see, it's a very small file. I'm gonna select it keep. Then let's wait for the ISO file. And once it gets downloaded, let's open up the container folder that contains the USB Imager tool and the PopOS ISO file using right click, show in folder, or you could go to the downloads folder we have the popos.iso file and the USB Imager tool which we're gonna use to create the bootable USB from this popos iso file before that you need to have a USB drive like this one which has 64 gigabytes of storage but you need at least 4 gigabytes I'm gonna hook it up to my computer then let's install the USB Imager if you have a Windows machine you could simply double click on the executable file and it's very easy to install and if you don't like me I'm using Linux you could right click and open in terminal we could install this tool with one command which is sudo then space dpkg then dash i for install and the name of the file which is USB Imager you could also hit tab to autocomplete or you could rename it then let's hit enter then you enter the password of your computer and as you can see it is installing once it's done you could search for the name of this tool so I'm gonna go right here and search for USB Imager it is this software I'm gonna open it up and there you go now we can choose the ISO file first I'm gonna select the USB drive make sure it's the right one on top we need to select the ISO file which is under my downloads and it is popOS 
nvidia.iso file, let's open it up. Make sure that verify is checked. Then we can hit right to create the bootable USB drive. I will enter my password again. After that you will wait a bit. And there you go, it is done successfully. The next step is to restart the computer. While the USB drive is plugged in, let's go on top and power off. But before that, I want to mention that all of the files that are under your computer will be deleted. I'm going to use the method that will erase all of the files. Then I'm going to restart using power off. Then restart. After that, you will select one of the keys on top. And it depends on the computer that you have. For me, it's F12. But you could hit escape when the computer is restarted. Now it is restarting. I'm going to keep holding escape a little bit. And as you can see, we have F12 for boot. That's why I'm going to keep pressing F12. And there you go. Now we have this list. We're going to choose the USB drive, which is this sand disk. Let's select it using the down key. Then hit enter. And once it's done, you will see this window that pops up to install Pop OS. Let's start by selecting the language. I'm gonna keep it as English. Then hit select. And more specifically, you could select United States or UK and so on. I'm gonna select United States. Then hit the select button. Then we choose the keyboard layout. I have a Zerti keyboard. That's why I'm going to search for French. Then French Azerty. You could also check it. I have QA and it's right. Then let's hit select. After that we can install the operating system. But we have few options like clean install that I'm going to use today. Which is basically erase everything and install a fresh copy of Pop! OS. But if you want to keep your files, you could select the custom option. Here you will manage your partitions manually and so on. You could even try Pop! OS without installing it on your computer using try demo mode. For me, I'm gonna select the first option, clean install. I've already moved all of my files. That's why I'm gonna select clean install. Because we've used the clean install, you will have one drive. I'm gonna select it. Then click on this button, erase and install. After that, you will select a name for your computer. I'm going to use the same one, Shaker, which is my name. Then let's hit next. For more security, I'm going to choose a password for my computer. Make sure it's a long one and confirm it down. Then we hit next. And this version of Pop! OS comes with this feature that is called encryption, which allows you to protect your data. I highly recommend you to use encrypt but if you don't make sure to select don't encrypt for me I will use encrypt and there you go now it is installing finally we'll have this window that pops up which is asking you to restart your device or shut it down let's restart it so that we can check this operating system and there you go, now we have this welcome screen. We can start by changing some settings. I'm gonna leave this as default. Then let's hit next. You could configure the top bar. For example, you could change the position to the left or to the right. I'm gonna keep it at the center. And let's hit next. Here we have few features. We can open and switch applications from the launcher. I'm gonna hit next. Make sure to read these if you want to know more about uh, Pop! OS. You could select the dark mode or the light mode. I like the dark one, but it doesn't matter. You could change it later on. You could skip this step. For me, I'm going to connect to one of these devices. I'm going to enter the password of my Wi-Fi network and hit connect. Then I'm going to select next and hit next again. We can select the time zone. I'm in Tunisia. 
and they don't want to connect now let's skip this step and start using pop os so it's all done and there you go we have pop os we have this launcher to select different apps we can search for it from here before i finish this video i highly recommend you to open up the terminal and use these two commands sudo apt install update and sudo apt install upgrade to make sure it is up to date so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to like my video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next one